here we are, up and running on day two. Mike McDade is taking the first shift. Getting into some uh, really good uh, gravel layer. Show them that gravel layer, Mike, you were showing me. Oh, wow, pulling that out of there. You got like maybe six inches or so off the top and we just started getting in the gravel so black sand oh you got yeah they got the black sand layer too don't we Nothing at all? Over there? Yeah. All right, well, we, we were, uh, Besky just working in the hole there. We open up the valve and add more water when needed, so whenever he gets... Getting into some bigger cobbles. Hey, if I got a bucket that was set over, was that uh, where we were left over here? Ah. Oh, okay, yeah. Dave is doing the cleanup from yesterday when we shut down. He's classifying everything down. Alright, dude. I don't have Wow. What do you need, Bubba? You want me to you need help with anything? Uh, I gotta clean all this. It's a lot of dirt in it. I'll tell you what. Let's let's uh let's get everything into the tub and get the mats in it and start running and then I'll I'll get it classified down. All right. That way we can just run. Okay. Somehow. Somehow. Some way somehow. Alright. I'm gonna help with the clean out and uh we'll bring her back. Well it looks like Mike he wanted to jump on the three inch. We got the three amp. We got some massive, massive sluice here working. We got dream mat, dream mat, miner's moss, dream mat, dream mat. And we got Chris Rose running the mini.
in the sun. Getting a lot bigger hole there, that's good. Heck yeah, let's keep all that splashing going. That's a good idea, whoever did that. I am gonna go check out some crevices on some big rocks, see if I can pull anything out of it, so. We'll be back. We are here crevicing. Actually, the crevice a lot right through here. Right down there. And we actually crevice along through here. And it goes down to a point. Every pan, we've had no less than three pieces. All these cracks and crevices. How's it looking, Doc? But I'll tell you what, it's adding up. We're getting underneath that rock here. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, you guys have been shoveling underneath that rock here, haven't you? Been doing pretty good, haven't you? Yeah. Well, we're not down to the bottom yet. No. We'll probably you'll probably get some nice pickers underneath that rock. I know where we're gonna work tomorrow. Yeah. And get an early start. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you guys get up even earlier than me, just head out here if you want to. I doubt that'll happen. <laughs> a lot of ibuprofen and good pharmaceuticals tonight. <laughs> Man, we got three quarters of a bucket to take back. That's gonna be fun getting that back. But there's a lot of gold in it. All right. Well. We're gonna get this, figure out how to get this back to camp. All right, we'll be back. We are running the cons from crevicing that we did today. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Look at the mat. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I thank the guy that made the mat. Genius. Well, the whole goal is to just do a one pass cleanup. Yeah. Multi pass cleanup. Right, exactly. Catch it once. And I've already shown that on other my other videos. So. You know, it, and I'll show it again and again and again. You know, you slow it down for beach gold, of course. Flatter pitch, lower flow. But, catch that really fine stuff and screen it. But you know, the thing about this is, is. The, the final cleanup is not meant to feed it real fast. You're in a final cleanup, so you feed it nice and slow, even. And yep. that's the way I do it. It's not a final clean, it's, it's still just a concentrator. Well, it's a concentrator, yep. but yep. It, it, I feed this one, you know, take it easy. When the cells start to build up a little bit, I, I let it work, I let the water run. I do all my cleanups on this because that makes it, I could pan it out. Easily. And Paul Jarvis makes those, right? Yeah, yep, Jarvis makes those, yep. 
That's called the Mini Six. And that way, this one is a pretty, sorry, yeah. this one is a pretty, pretty big pan. So it takes a little bit to pan it out. That's why I like using that hey, one. And you run a 2,000 gallon pump on the Mini Six, I use right? A, I use a 2,000 for stuff that's big, dumb, like pay dirt. But if I was to run like beach sands, I would have to slow it way down right. like this. Right. Yeah, this did some cab crevicing. We were doing some panning. I found some gold in a hole. About oh, a couple, three big flakes and a bunch, whole bunch of colors. And um, uh, Dave went up around the corner and he was finding sometimes 30 colors of pan, you know, and around some rocks and even a little bit more than that and doing a lot of small stuff. I mean, like, you know, flakes. Right. So I'm gonna ice fish in his hole tomorrow, maybe, oh, yeah. or do some crevicing. So oh, I'm yeah. just gonna go toward the gold that I'm not gonna. I got one of those golden sand pumps. And right. This, this hole that I was crevicing where the rocks spin and it makes a hole in the rock. Right. It was so deep, I could, I was getting water. And my wader is reaching down trying to get you know with my scooper to get dirt out. So now I'm gonna use the golden sand pump tomorrow, and I'm gonna get down in there further because I was getting nice heavy concentrates and right getting some clay and the gold I did find had mercury on it so there may be some more gold I just get, I haven't got it out yeah I did yet. see that piece that had mercury on it yeah and now is he feeding that all right he's feeding it fine okay yeah. and yeah this material the sand the lighter sand is really light a lot of mica with the lighter sand it blows off pretty easy the the heavies depend on where it seems like you can you either get the fluffy black sand or you get the really grainy yeah. heavy magnetite um a lot of minerals the geology in this creek is so gorgeous there's so much quartz i mean we find quartz where we're at we pick it up we take it home and crush it i mean we don't let quartz leave if you see it we take it this whole area half of the whole stream is quartz. It's amazing. It's, it's so gorgeous. And it's got a lot of mica, all that stuff. So we're just right up to, we're in the clear water, so we're just right up the hill from Gibbs Eddy. You know, Gibbs Eddy is like less than 80 miles from here, I think. And that used to be an old faithful place. A lot of prospectors used to do some prospecting, but the reservation, it's on, a res, it's on the reservation, so it kind of got shut down. They were right. trying to overcharge the prospecting club used to be able to go prospect they, did, they opened it once a year and you could prospect for four days for 40 bucks for a permit and then they tried to do it almost like 50 bucks a day you know for those mm -hmm. four days and it's just too much for prospectors to pay just for a right. little bit of flood gold yeah. so this area is notorious for flood gold fine flaky flood gold in um this river system is Next year we need the dredge permits, mister. We need to get out there and be dredging. Uh, we'll, yeah. have, we'll have them next year. Yeah. Yeah. So, we will have them next year, I promise. Yeah. We'll put somebody on that one. All right. Well, when we get to the end, close to the end, we will bring it back live and, and then do the clean out. So we will be back. Okay, here is two buckets that we ran, two half five gallon buckets. Okay. Oh, wait. there's a. Uh, let's rinse that. Rinse the. Rinse the tray off. Yeah. It looks. That little pan looks like a little medical tray. Yeah. So in, in that you well, have a. You know, the like doctor instruments would be in.
Turkey baster, he was sucking up the crevices. Turkey baster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand you work like a charm. I got a turkey baster and a toilet brush and a grumpy sandal one time. <laughs> Nobody wanted to trade me gifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got salmon socks. A pair of socks with a big rainbow trout on them. <laughs> yeah. I got the, the straight edges out underneath you. one of those at the gold show. This thing looks really good.
are black sands. They're fluffy, you know, fingery. You know, you look under a microscope, it looks like a feather. And uh, it holds the flakes. And, um, uh, so you get gold that doesn't stratify through to the bottom, no matter how much you shake it. So when you take the magnetic black sands out, the other black sands are grainy and round and the gold will settle through that and it makes a huge difference in being able to pan out you know a large pan will that retain or pick up any of the small gold with that black sand you can pan that out that. after you're done you can tell me what you think of it <laughs> i've seen him using that at the gold show I, it, my honest all right we'll be back is, when he gets to the final gold here so i'm already at seven minutes on panning <laughs> so when he gets done we will bring it back and show you the gold <laughs> 